This is Think Future with Calabucus. Now, I talk a lot about human nature on my show and my other shows, and it's a funny thing, human nature, because on the one hand, I feel that it's pretty immutable, right? I mean, no matter what we've done over the last hundreds of thousands of years the human race has been around, I don't know if it's 100,000 years, however many years the human race has been around, we haven't really strayed that far from when we were tribesmen, when we were cave people. Have we really changed that much? Have we really evolved that much? Now, outside of the technological involvement of us being able to have a smartphone with the full-on database of all human knowledge available at our fingertips. I mean, why are we even bothering to teach history anymore? I, I, I gotta ask. History, geography, anything that where you, where you need to remember stuff, I don't think we need to do that. I think critical and analytical thinking, maybe some finance, you know, a few other things, but do we really need to teach anything that requires rote memorization anymore? I'd say no, but I digress. So all of the world's information is at our fingertips. Of course, all of the world's information that Google allows us to see is at our fingertips. There's tons of other information that is not available to us, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Almost all of the world's information is available to us at any moment. Don't you think that makes us completely different from any other generation prior to us? Because if you think about it, all the information of the world was inaccessible, or if it was, it wasn't really inaccessible, but what it was difficult to access. It was in a book somewhere, or it was in a TV show somewhere, or it was in a radio program somewhere, but all of this, or it was in a paper somewhere, all of this information was difficult to access. But now, the entire human race, or anyone who's connected to the internet, the entire human race that has unfiltered internet, and of course nobody has unfiltered internet, but that would be a great dream, wouldn't it? Has access to all of this information anytime they want. But even though we have access to all of this information anytime we want, have we fundamentally changed? Has human nature fundamentally changed? No, it hasn't, because a lot of our institutions continue to act in the exact same way as they did prior to our ability to having access to all of the world's information. I mean, if you ask me, that access to all of the world's information is a key tenet of living in this century. So if it's a key tenet of living in this century, why do we still need to do exams where you don't have a smartphone to look up information? Why do we still need to do interviews where you don't have a smartphone to look up information? Why do we have to do all of these things that force us to have things in our brain when they're already in the global brain and accessible by anyone at any time? When if you look at the course of human nature, over the course of the human nature, and I highly recommend the book, The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene because he outlines human nature, all the different elements of human nature. And we have to talk about human nature because human nature is one of those things that's very difficult to change. In fact, we could almost say that no matter what happens, human nature will not change, or will it? Some people think that human nature is easily changed. Some people don't. So the question is, are we different now? because we have all of this access to all of this information. Are we, have we become a new hyper-connected species of human? Or are we still the individualistic humans that we used to be? Now this question is not just relevant for education, it's relevant for all of us because depending on the answer to the question, it will tell us what kinds of innovations appeal to this new 21st century homo nexus. What kind of innovations do these people want? And what do we need to do to give it to them? 
Is it as simple as asking them what they want? No. We can't just ask them what we want what they want. It has to be a combination of things. It has to be a combination of vision. It has to be a combination of asking what they want. And we also have to factor in human nature. Because if we don't factor in human nature, we do not know what human beings want. Thank you.